Hi guys, Kat here. What I have here is Lotus Roots. You can find this at your local um, Asian grocery stores. Lotus Roots, okay. This is um, not peeled yet, and this is already peeled. And then you use a peeler to peel it. Very easy. That. Okay. So what I'm going to make with these is um, a dessert tonight. Okay. So these are uh, the lotus root that's been peeled, cut, and then boiled for 20 minutes. Just boil plain. Okay. For 20 minutes. And what we're going to do next is cut them up into uh, bite sizes. Like so. Okay, you can cut it to whatever size you like, but this is pretty good. Not too big, not too small. Okay. I also have here some water chestnut. Uh, this, these are uh, canned water chestnut. Um, I also boiled it. I know they're cooked already, but I like to freshen up by boiling it again for like uh, 10 minutes or so. Okay, and we're going to cut this up as well. Just like that. Okay, next we're gonna boil our tapioca. This is tapioca pearls. Um, they come plain white like this, or there's ones that are colored. Um, I happen to have a green one that's already open, so I'm gonna use this. What you do is bring a water to a boil, okay, and then dump that all in there. This is about one cup. Stir it. And just let it boil for about three minutes, but stir it as well too. You don't want it to stick to the bottom as it's boiling, okay? So let it let it cook for about three minutes. Okay. After about three minutes, you're gonna give it a good stir. Turn off your heat. Cover and remove from heat. And then we're gonna let that sit until it's cooked um, or until it's translucent in color. Okay, that's probably gonna take about 20 minutes. Okay guys, after 20 minutes of it um, sitting, it's now ready to be rinsed and clean. It should look like this. Translucent in color like this, okay? Now we're gonna get ready to rinse it. And make sure that when you're rinsing it, that your strainer is not uh, it doesn't have a big hole, okay? Because if the hole is too big, then the tapioca pearls is just going to go right through it. So make sure that the size is uh, correct. Mine's like this. Okay? I'm going to rinse it in cold water. This here is also tapioca pearls, but they're different. They're, um, they're tiny little pieces, but it's the same thing. And I'm gonna also cook this as well. The same step as we did with the other tapio tapioca pearls. So, boiling water. And this is what it looks like. Little pieces like this, okay? Pop them in there. Stir it up. Okay, once you've got a good boil going on, you want to go ahead and cover it up, turn off the heat, and remove it, and let it sit. Okay guys, 
after you let this sit for about 20 minutes, it's cooked, but it's not fully cooked yet. So we need to cook it some more. Um, typically, I would um, soak this overnight and then cook it for about right, seven minutes and it's done. But this is longer. For some reason, this type of tapioca, it takes uh, longer to cook this way. So what we're going to do now is let it cook again. It's translucent, as you can see right now, but it's still chewy, very, very hard. So we're going to cook it again. Okay, so turn back on our heat. Maybe add a little bit more water to it too as well. Okay. And then we're going to let this boil until it's thoroughly cooked. All right. Okay, guys. So this has been boiling for about five minutes. It's done. Okay. Now we're going to strain it. Okay, so now we're going to strain it and rinse it. Cold water. They look like glass pebbles, don't they? Next step is to make the uh, sugar sugar coconut broth. So what you need is, um, I have here about six cups of uh, water. I'm going to add some sugar to it. And the amount of sugar will be de uh, depend on your personal preference, how sweet you like it, how add a little or as much as you, you like your broth to be. Okay, so that's one cup so far. Add also one can of um, coconut cream, okay. and I like I like this brand. Okay. Dump it all in there, and this is optional. Uh, these are ginger slices. I like it. I like the hints of ginger in my dessert. And then we boil this. We taste it as well. Probably some more sugar. And like I said, it's up to you how sweet you like it. And then we just let this sugar all melt. Okay, once the sugar is all melted, you can go ahead and cut off the heat. I'm going to add also some salt. Okay, so it has that sweet, salty flavor. And now this is ready for dessert. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have all our ingredients cooked and ready to assemble, it is ready to be eaten. Um, you can assemble everything all into a big bowl uh, by doing that but keep in mind that when you do that the uh, tapioca is gonna start absorbing the broth and then you're gonna have this thick and gooey broth which I don't care for so I typically would like to just leave it um, individually like this and assemble it whenever I want to eat it that way it's good and delicious every time and the broth is not thickened by the tapioca because tapioca will absorb the broth over time. Okay, so keep that in mind. So now that we have everything ready, let's make us a bowl. Get myself a bowl here. Add a little bit of each of the ingredients. Lotus root and the um, water chestnut for texture and crunch. And our broth. You can eat this um, warm or cold. You can eat it cold if you like. I like mine warm. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let me have a taste here. 
Mm. Sweet, crunchy, nutty. Delicious, guys. This is a good warm dessert for a cold night, like tonight. Tapioca dessert with uh, lotus root and water chestnut. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.